Patrick. 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 There he is. I see him on that garbage can. Yeah, well, I hear this garbage dump is infested with cats. Now let's explain to our friends about macaws and pigeons. Macaws and pigeons are two different types of birds, but they're two types and two worlds apart. With macaws, macaws are bright rainbow birds streaking across the sky. Their vibrant plumage or feathers can be blue, red, green, or yellow. To us, these bright colors seem to stand out, but they actually blend in with the leaves and the flowers of the rainforest. Many macaws have white and black faces that look like masks and have very long tail feathers. Macaws are one of the largest species from the parent family. Most are around 30 to 40 inches tall, or one meter stick. This is as long as an average adult human's leg. They only weigh two to four pounds because their bones are lightweight and hollow. As for pigeons, pigeons are highly intelligent animals. They are able to recognize themselves in the mirror, to find same people on two different pictures, and to recognize all the letters of the alphabet. Pigeons were used as mail carriers during the First and Second World War. They sang numerous lives by delivering information on the enemy's fire. They even live on Sesame Street, where its resident, Bert, has taken an immense liking to them. Now that you know all about these two birds, you can be sure there are dozens more in the wild, in the air, on the ground, in the whole world. I thought I heard some familiar squawking outside. You heard nothing, cousin. You may think it's a bird, but really, it's going to be a paper bag. Wait, it's not a paper bag. It's Patrick. Ah, Daddy. Come to Papa, Patrick. Ah, come to Papa, Patrick. Patrick. <laughs> Parents. <laughs> Hey, Patrick, you knew exactly where I was, didn't you? Well, it's good to see your fine feathered face again. I thought I'd see you when I came back home, but- Hi, Lucius! Hi, Joel. Were you looking for Patrick? Yes, we were. I see you caught him after an epic chase scene between us and Patrick. He's my bird, you know. Wait till we tell Jesse what happened. It'll be too small for gossip columns. Before we wrap up today's show, here's a little advice I'd like to give about keeping a bird as a pet. The happiest birds aren't the ones given constant attention or rule of the roost in your home. Just like a child that's been indulged too often, birds that are spoiled can turn into unhappy and uncooperative family members that can hamper peace in your home. Thankfully, much can be learned from the habitats and mistakes of veteran bird owners. Now that this episode is over, you can go spread your wings and fly away. The 
be around.